the Academy Sergeant Major will now hand over the parade to the parade adjutant, Officer Cadet Jacob Taylor. The parade adjutant will post the parade appointments and then hand over to the parade commander. The parade adjutant will now hand over to the parade commander.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Commandant of the Australian Defence Force Academy, Commodore Bruce Kafer, and the Rector of the University of New South Wales, Canberra, Professor Michael Freighter, will now be formally received by the parade. The Commandant is the parade host officer. Ladies and gentlemen, the Chief of the Defence Force, General David Hurley, will now be formally received by the parade. Ladies and gentlemen, the Assistant Minister for Defence, the Honourable Stuart Robert MP, will now be formally received by the parade. In a few moments' time, the parade will receive the reviewing officer, the Governor-General of the Commonwealth of Australia, Her Excellency the Honourable Quentin Bryce, who will be accorded a royal salute by the parade. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please be upstanding for the arrival of the reviewing officer and the royal salute. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the reviewing officer, the Governor-General of the Commonwealth of Australia, Her Excellency, the Honourable Quentin Bryce.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the parade will now march past in slow and then quick time with the CDF squadron leading. You are advised to stand whenever the banner passes your immediate front. Those in uniform are to salute and then you all may be seated when the banner has passed during the march past. The march past will culminate with an advance in review order.
Ladies and gentlemen, will you please stand for the Royal Salute? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. The graduates will now take post and march through the academy in quick time.
Ladies and gentlemen, the third year banner party will now hand over the Governor General's banner to the second year banner party. Ladies and gentlemen, the Governor-General will now present the Commander-in-Chief's Medal. The Commander-in-Chief's Medal is awarded to the third year midshipman or officer cadet for the most exceptional performance in the fields of military and academic achievement, leadership, personal example and performance of duty during their time at the Australian Defence Force Academy. This year, the Commander-in-Chief's Medal is awarded to Midshipman Nam Nguyen, Royal Australian Navy. <laughs> Midshipman Nguyen is a maritime warfare officer. He grew up in Melbourne and joined the Royal Australian Navy in 2010. After a year of naval training, he joined the Academy in 2011 to commence studying for a Bachelor of Business degree. Midshipman Nguyen held several leadership positions whilst at the Academy, including the President of the Agora Trainees Committee. Midshipman Nguyen will continue his warfare officer training from January next year when he'll be posted to HMAS Watson. The Chief of the Defence Force, General David Hurley, will now present the Chief of the Defence Force Sword of Honour for Leadership. This is awarded to the third year midshipman or officer cadet for the outstanding leadership and consistent performance in the fields of military and academic achievement, personal example and application of duty during their time at the Academy. This year, the Chief of Defence Force Sword of Honour for Leadership is awarded to Officer Cadet Kent O'Sullivan. <laughs> officer Cadet O'Sullivan is a General Service Officer. He grew up in Newcastle before joining the Australian Regular Army in 2011 to commence studying for a Bachelor of Information Technology degree at the Academy. Officer Cadet O'Sullivan has filled numerous leadership positions at the Academy and in 2013 has demonstrated excellent leadership of the President of the Cadets Mess Committee. Officer Cadet O'Sullivan will continue his training next year at the Royal Military College Duntroon.
Vice Chief of the Defence Force, Air Marshal Mark Binskin, will now present the Re Returned and Services League of Australia Sword for Service. The Returned and Services League of Australia Sword for Service is awarded to the third year midshipman or officer cadet displaying the highest standard of leadership and officer development during their time at the Academy. This year, the Returned and Services League of Australia Sword for Service is awarded to Midshipman Kieran Davis, Royal Australian Navy. <laughs> Midshipman Davis is training to be a weapons electrical engineering officer. He grew up in Mackay, Queensland and joined the Royal Australian Navy in 2010 to undertake initial training then commenced studying for an electrical engineering degree at the Academy in 2011. Midshipman Davis has been an extremely active member in the ADFA community. His sports and club memberships have included rugby league, football, cross, fit, uh, cricket and community service club. He also undertook the role of ADFA communications coordinator in 2013. Midshipman Davis will remain at the Academy next year to complete his electrical engineering studies. The three Chief of Service prizes are awarded to a graduate from each service for the most exceptional performance in military and academic subjects over three years. In addition to meeting the selection criteria, the prize winners are required to be models of the Academy values of be honest, give everyone a fair go, respect others and do your best. Rear Admiral Michael Van Balen, Royal Australian Navy, representing the Chief of Navy, will now present the Chief of Navy Prize. This is awarded to Midshipman Claire Hodge, Royal Australian Navy. <laughs> Midshipman Hodge is a maritime warfare officer. She grew up in New South Wales and joined the Royal Australian Navy in 2010 for initial officer training before commencing studies at the Academy in 2011 for a Bachelor of Science degree. Midshipman Hodge has maintained a very active role in the ADVA community, notably through her work in the ADVA Performing Arts Company, Focus and Navigators Christian Fellowship activities, and considerable contributions to community service. Midshipman Hodge will return to the Navy in January next year. The Chief of Army, Lieutenant General David Morrison, will now present the Chief of Army Prize. And this is awarded to Officer Cadet Jacob Taylor. <laughs> Officer Cadet Taylor is a General Service Officer. He grew up in the ACT before joining the Australian Regular Army in 2011 to commence studying for a Bachelor of Business degree under the Chief of Defence Force program. In 2013, Officer Cadet Taylor was the project manager of the ADVA Cadet Intranet and this is an intranet page used by every undergraduate and staff in the Academy undergraduate branch. Officer Cadet Taylor will continue his training next year at the Royal Military College, Duntroon.
The Chief of Air Force, Air Marshal Jeff Brown, will now present the Chief of Air Force Prize. And this is awarded to Officer Cadet Laura Hawes. <laughs> Officer Cadet Hawes is training to be an electrical engineer. She grew up in Victoria and joined the Royal Australian Air Force in 2011 to commence studying for an electrical engineering degree at the academy. Officer Cadet Hawes has maintained an active role in the ADVA community through her work for both the soccer and fustal clubs and as the Bravo Squadron Sports Coordinator in 2013. Officer Cadet Hawes will remain at the academy next year to undertake her final year of study for her degree. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the reviewing officer, the Governor-General, Her Excellency, the Honourable Quentin Bryce, will now address the parade. Your Excellencies, Members of Parliament, General David Hurley, Chief of our Defence Force, Senior Defence Personnel, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and importantly, the graduating class of 2013. I am truly delighted to join you, your families, friends and colleagues, as you mark your graduation from the Australian Defence Force Academy. My friends, this will be one of the last parades that I review, so my heart is filled with memories of the splendid occasions I have shared on this magnificent ground with outstanding young Australians. So like you, on a day so like this, all important milestones for individuals, for our Defence Force and for our nation. I hope you will forgive me then if I indulge in a little nostalgia about the very first time I carried out a military review, more than 10 years ago when I was sworn in as Governor of Queensland. I was at once nervous and excited about the task. General Evans, then Commander First Division, escorted me as I walked past the rows of soldiers from Gallipoli Barracks, a splendid army band and a contingent of Queensland Mounted Police. When I returned to my seat, I said to my husband, with a little surprise and much relief, well, I really enjoyed that. He responded dryly, we could tell. The band had to go through its routine three times. That experience has stood me in very good stead across the years and no more so than when I assumed the role of Commander-in-Chief on becoming Governor-General. Since that time, I have looked into the faces of many fine servicemen and women on inspections, on many, many guards at home and overseas, in places as diverse as Anglesey Barracks, Hobart, Torrens Parade Ground, Adelaide, RAF, East Sale, Solomon Islands, Tanzania, Jordan, Brunei, Turkey. Certainly, I feel more confident these days at significant and memorable events like this one. But I am always conscious of the honour they accord me and my office. I never fail to have a sense of awe and admiration for what they represent. I value the pride, discipline and commitment that I see. Indeed, when I reflect on our ADF, it is always with the highest regard for what you do and how you do it, and there is a distinctive Aussie way. My friends, it has been a privilege for me to be Commander-in-Chief, one for which I will always be deeply grateful. Graduates, in your time at ADFA, you have been called on to extend yourselves in every way, undergoing rigorous military training, earning a university degree, learning to think critically and strategically, to plan and to lead, to embrace responsibility and to earn trust. You have confirmed a set of values that will guide you throughout your professional and personal life. 
strength of character, inner resources, a moral framework. During my term in office, I have appreciated seeing firsthand the work of our defence men and women, gaining understandings about how they develop and use their skills, conversations with them about their jobs, their careers, their families. Again and always, I am impressed by the calm assurance and camaraderie, resilience and optimism, even in harsh and dangerous conditions, selflessness, honour and courage. Qualities I enjoy talking about to fellow Australians. Qualities you have seen in your instructors and staff here and at the Academy that you can emulate now. You have joined our military's fine traditions. You have become part of the team. The respect and trust of Australians will be with you wherever you go. Class of 2013, I congratulate you. I wish you well, my friends, on this most memorable occasion for you. I salute you. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please be upstanding for the departure of the reviewing officer and the royal salute. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. <laughs> the parade will now farewell the Assistant Minister for Defence.
The parade will now farewell the Chief of the Defence Force. The parade will now farewell the Commandant of the Australian Defence Force Academy and the Rector of the University of New South Wales, Canberra. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the march off of the Governor-General's banner. Gentlemen are requested to remove headdress and members in uniform are to only salute during the playing of point of war. There is no requirement for uniform personnel to salute as the banner passes their immediate front.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of 2013 will now be fallen out for the last time by the director of the Australian Defence Force Academy undergraduates, Group Captain John Davidson, accompanied by the military staff of the Australian Defence Force Academy. The Parade Sergeant Major will now march the squadrons from the parade ground, accompanied by the Academy Band, Pipes and Drums. 